Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, walking here at Phuket Beach. Today, a short video, not TA at all, something way more important, because you're stressing out and freaking out about the price. I am freaking out about completely something else that I read this morning in the news. I'm going to show you what I mean. First, the news article, and then we're gonna have a chat about it because I really don't like it, and you should really don't like it because that is like a fucked up system that we don't wanna be in. Now, let's jump into that news article for one second. Bam! It is this news article, guys. Starling Bank bans Bitcoin transactions as part of the crypto clamber. So, they describe cryptocurrency as high risk and heavily used for criminal purposes. So, if you read this article, you, could, you will see that. From the 15th of November, Santander Mobile and online banking customers were restricted already for a thousand dollar limit to buy in Bitcoin. Now, in total, only three thousand dollar of pounds per month. That's like nada. So they started this now. And I think more and more banks are following up because you can read already 47% of the UK banks don't allow customers to interact with crypto exchanges. So this is according to a personal finance comparison site, Finder.com. A Starling Bank spokesperson said, Starling has restricted um, a varying degrees on crypto transactions. So this is like really terrible. So you can see that payments sent to cryptocurrency exchanges, Binance, will uh, continue to be blocked while payments from crypto uh, currency exchanges, including Binance, so payments to your bank account, they will still be permitted. So they are closing down on Bitcoin. Now, that means, bam, back to the screen again, that they are going to fuck you up. That means that they won't allow you to buy more than 3,000 pounds worth monthly of Bitcoin. That is why I've been saying for months already now, guys, do check out of your bank assistant. That's, already, that's why I've been saying for months already, guys, get your cash out of your banks. Go into Bitcoin, go into stablecoin, go into any other cryptocurrency that you believe in, but don't stay in your bank account because now they start with limiting your purchases of Bitcoin. Who says or who guarantees you that they won't limit the fuck out of everything that you want to buy in the future for any reason? Is it a vaccine or is it a QR code or is it uh, crossing the red traffic light or is it your kids don't go to school or is it whatever you don't obey to, they will be able to limit the withdrawals of your bank account. They will not even be limiting the withdrawals, but they will also be limiting the things that you can buy with your own money. It is your money. You put your money in line. You put your money on the bank account. You put your hard-earned money on those bank accounts because you think it's safe to save it over there and you think you can spend it on anything you want in the world. You can't. You can't spend it on Bitcoin anymore and soon, maybe in a couple of years, you won't be able to spend it on anything else as well, guys. They will screw your money because they don't like you to have freedom. They don't like you to have a beautiful life where you can decide for yourself what to spend your bitcoins on, what to spend your euros on, what to spend your dollars on. They want to decide where you spend it on. And that is the whole story, guys. Now, enjoy this beautiful view. Okay. Yes, I love it over here. Uh, we are on Phuket. It's a little bit more luxury. There was a lot of beach vibe here, but they broke down some uh, beach bars. So these beach bars are going to be rebuilt in the next couple of weeks. But still, it's a quiet place with a lot of long sands, beaches. It's cloudy today, so I'm going to go shopping. And, oh, that's how you see my face as well. I'm going to go shopping with the kids. And, because uh, I think in a week or so, it's becoming more sunny, sunny, sunny than ever before. And that is the moment we're going to enjoy the beach and a little bit more, guys. Now, so be aware, again, just read all these articles that they are putting out there. You will be limited in everything you do with your bank accounts. So why would you keep your money there? It is not giving you any interest anymore. Even in some countries you pay negative interest. So why would you limit yourself? And I know that you are afraid of going all into Bitcoin as it is volatile. Yes, Bitcoin shows it's volatile. Your euro doesn't show it as volatile, but it is. Because you can buy less, less, less for your same amount of euros every year. Inflation rates of up to 17%, for example, in the Netherlands, all over the world. Yes, but you still have 1,000 euros. Yes, but you can't buy jack chip for 1,000 euros anymore because you can buy less every year, guys. So that's the volatility over there. In Bitcoin, there is a deflationary asset. It slowly goes up. 
while doing so is very volatile but in the average your life is becoming cheaper i can be what i can buy way more for one bitcoin now than i could five years ago you can't say that for euros for the 100 euros five years ago you can buy you bought way more than you can buy now so that's the opposite that's why i believe in bitcoin now that was everything i want to talk about and i want you to understand that bitcoin not is only about becoming billionaire millionaire lamborghini fucking style it's about freedom it is all about giving you the freedom to do what you want with your money and not only you but everyone else on this beautiful world because it's like beautifully created in a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized way so that anyone with a telephone can access this new monetary system that we are building for them we're not building it for the suits we're not building it for the institutional investors we're not building it for the billionaires and the millionaires we're building it for you for me for all the poor people all over the world that want to have access to a monetary system with a telephone and they can use to spend their bitcoins all over the world permissionless unconfiscatable yes that is what we need now whew, breathe yes that was everything yes i'm going to go back into the beach videos again because i feel way better to doing all these videos than just ta on the charts uh, i hope you really enjoyed this content if you do then give this one a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment and please leave a comment about these videos did he yes we want to see a shitload of more of these videos on the beach instead of you behind the laptop because then i can combine walking and talking losing some more kilograms and yes um, bring some valuable information to you and i'm very thankful that you're watching these videos because that's uh, what makes me happy every day that people watch the content that i have to share and that some of them even believe the content that i share most of you maybe look at it for a fun reason and um, but i create it for all my passion because i truly believe what i've been saying for the last two years that they want to control everything in our lives and I'm not going to let that happen to my life and especially not to the future's life of my children. That is why we as the Bitcoin family are still all in Bitcoin. No bank accounts ready for five years and I won't get a bank account also not here in Thailand. I will stay full-time Bitcoin, stablecoins and maybe some other cryptocurrencies. Yes, to take a beautiful new bull run all the way up to 2025. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam!